I didn't understand the special handling of errors that to signal uses when converting observable streams to signals, and it made for a head-scratching afternoon trying to figure out what the heck was happening. Since I can't show the actual application I'm working on, I've recreated a simplified version of the situation here. I have this stream which gets data from some service, and then I convert that stream into a signal using to signal. In this particular case, there is also a requirement to be able to show the user specific error codes when an error occurs. So what we are doing is just catching and rethrowing with the specific error code we want to display. And then there is a global error handler service that displays an alert with the code. Seems straightforward enough, and this was all working fine in the pre-signals version of this application, but then this started happening. Error alerts were being spammed on the screen when an error occurred. Here we only see the alert popping up a few times, which is still obviously not what we want, but in the application I'm working on, many more alerts were triggered whenever a single error occurred. Given the understanding of errors I had, I just could not see what could possibly be causing that behavior, until I decided to dive more into exactly how to signal works. Looking more deeply into how to signal handles errors, we can see in the documentation that if an observable used in to signal produces an error, that error is thrown whenever the signal is read. Now things are starting to make sense. This would mean that if we don't handle the error with RxJS, then the error would be thrown every time the signal is read, which could explain why this error spamming was happening. The recommended approach in the documentation is to handle the errors in the stream, which is typically what I prefer to do. What I have generally been doing to handle errors with RxJS and signals is to catch the error in the stream and have the stream return a value that indicates an error occurred. Then if I wanted to display some kind of pop-up error message in the UI, I would have a signal effect that reacts to this. But in this case, I specifically want to propagate the error to the global error service. Fortunately, I also discovered the reject errors option of toSignal. By default, to signal will take the errors from the observable stream and propagate them through to the signal, and as we just discussed, those errors are thrown whenever the signal is read. Setting reject errors to true provides an alternative approach. With this approach, to signal basically just says, I don't want your errors, take them back. And the errors are sent back to the RxJS stream. These errors will then become uncaught exceptions, which will then be handled by the global error handler service and the error message displayed to the user will now just display once as expected. Now the signal won't throw the error every time it is read. If you like this video, feel free to drop a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope to see you back here for the next one.